How you doing, Anthony Ferraro here of Create Sci-Fi. This week, I want to walk through fire with you. <laughs> so I want to just share with you a basic tutorial for how to add fire elements uh, to your composition. Um, I've been working on a lot of fire with my uh, short film, Erringer, that I've been using to demo a lot of my DIY Make a Sci-Fi short tutorials. Um, and this is something that I thought would be very useful to uh, filmmakers. Now. In Erringer, it's done um, with motion tracking and some rotoscoping, a little complicated, but the basic elements are, are pretty straightforward. So I wanted to share with you um, how to do that in Premiere Pro. Now, um, the only restriction is uh, you'll have to just use a locked off shot or something fairly uh, steady one frame that we can stabilize in order to do this uh, simply. And um, I want to reiterate with these tutorials, I'm not trying to uh, give anybody instruction on how to do this for a living. I'm just simply sharing with you some really basic jump right in there tonight, uh, get your feet wet, get your, your effects done yourself so that you can create your projects rather than, you know, having to wait around for people and, and get things going. All right, well, enough about that. <laughs> so, um, basically, here I'll show you uh, what I did for Erringer. And again, this is with motion tracking and rotoscoping. And here's just a, a little basic piece of that. All right, pretty cool. <laughs> now I'm going to demo for you. Um, this is what we're going to achieve today very easily. So that's pretty straightforward. Again, broken record. Um, we want a stable image to do this with, and um, let's just get started. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get our fire and smoke elements. Now, for you know under twenty dollars, you can go to some place like Video Hive and um, get a pack of fire. Now, if your budget is limited, um, you know if you go to Google and you search free fire assets, you'll find some things. And if you type in free smoke assets, again, you'll find some things. So these basic elements are all we need to make this happen. So let's jump into Premiere Pro and get started. So basically there's three types of element files that you'll come across. This is the alpha, which is probably the easiest. There's no background, it's just the fire element. Then you might find one um, on a black background, in which case you go into the effects and you set the blend mode to screen and there it is. Uh, that's also pretty simple. A little more complicated is if it's on a green screen, you're just gonna go into your effects, grab the ultra key that comes in all Premiere Pro packages, and one eyedropper, and boom, the background's gone. Um, for this, I'm gonna use the one with the alpha channel. Now, if your footage is not steady, um, we're just gonna stabilize it because we wanna work with a locked frame. So this takes a minute. So first thing I'm gonna do is take my fire element and I'm gonna drop it on there. And very simple, we're gonna go into the effects. I'm gonna scale it up, scale it down, maybe rotate it a little. And I'm just going to find the sweet spot to where this uh, works. And I think on the top there. And you know, this is all just sort of eyeballing it. And that looks fine. So now we're gonna add some smoke. I take this smoke element, I drop it on there. It's going the opposite way I want it to go. So I just go into effects and get a flip tool. And we put that flip effect on there. And now I'm just gonna go into the opacity where we have the mask pen tool. And I'm just going to um, make a simple little mask on the bottom here, just so that fits into our composition. Invert that, nothing fancy. It works. Again, this is just straightforward. And that's looking good, we're almost there. So now my fire doesn't um, go all the way um, to the length of my clip. So I'm just going to double that and cross transfer them together. So now I'm resizing this. Um, one thing to note is when you're putting in these other ones, if it's the same fire, just put it at a different place so they're not being mirrored. So now I put in this side fire, add a little smoke to that and now I'm just Blending the opacity. Again, it's just, you're just eyeballing it, what looks good. Sometimes, you know, you might wanna look at a reference online. Okay, so now I'm going to add a little bit of a blur to my smoke, because I feel like that's a little too solid. And, you know, just a little bit, I put a little blur on the fire, 
And this is all just to help everything blend together. Now that's looking good and I'm gonna nest this all together now. So now we're gonna sell the effect. So now that's nested in one comp and I'm going to create an adjustment layer and we're just gonna add a, a, a few adjustments that are gonna unify this image. First thing I do is go into the Lumetri uh, color tool, add that, and I'm just gonna find a, a color preset. This one looks good. And again, it just takes the fire in your background element and makes them in a similar color space. So now I'm adding a little bit of noise, like a film grain, just a touch, a tiny bit. Now this, if you go, I have another video where I talk about these uh, camera shake presets. To me, this is what really sells it. Okay, now I've talked about this before, so I just wanna briefly go over it again. Um, basically, when you're doing a composition, you're taking these elements and you're layering them together. And they're from different places, different times of day, different lighting. So to sell the effect, you know, you use blending and, and motion. Now, when we're doing it basically like this, the first thing we did is we added a little bit of grain. So that just kind of blends the edges together. And then um, we added a color correction. So that makes the colors seem as if it's in the same space. Now, the camera shake is what I think really sells this, especially when you're working on a limited budget, is what it does is you have the fire and you have the image, right? And they're unified, but maybe something goes a little awry and your in your brain kind of thinks, well, I don't know if that's how fire flickers. You know, there's weird things going on subconsciously, right? So what the shake does is if you have these two images, the fire and the plate, pretty closely matched, but then when we add the camera shake, they move in unison and then it tricks our eye that, oh, this was filmed really happening. So it's just something that I like to add. You don't have to add it, but that's <laughs> that's my case for adding it. So moving on. So now I'm just gonna add some sound effects because I have OCD and I really wanna sell this effect for you. So even though it's a visual effect, the sound effects really help to sell it. And here's the final comp with a very basic sound design. Pretty simple, pretty cool. Now I have to ask you, are you fired up? <laughs> Is it getting hot in here? <laughs> now, if you have any burning questions, leave a comment and I'll be sure to uh, answer those for you. <laughs> As always, I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please like, share, subscribe, leave any burning comments. <laughs> and be sure to sign up for the email newsletter. And remember, I'm just here to help make sci-fi. <laughs>